So we're back from our last video. Uh, welcome again to Heli Skunk. Uh, this time we're going to be covering how to charge a multi cell lipo battery, that is, anything more than one cell, whether it's two cells, three, four, five, or six. Um, most lithium polymer chargers will, most of them, will handle anything from one cell to six cells. However, you may have one that only handles uh, one through three or something like that. This particular one, Thunder AC6 charger will handle anything from one to six. Now, as opposed to when we were charging the one cell battery, when we're charging a multi-cell battery, in this case, I'm using this, this is an 11.1 .1 volt three cell battery. So we've got three cells in here. In that case, you're always going to want to do, uh, typically, almost always, you're going to want to do a balanced charge. What this does is it makes sure that each cell within the battery is charged equally. Otherwise, one cell or more could end up getting drained further than the others, and therefore it doesn't get charged as much and each time you run the battery it gets drained further, that particular cell anyway gets drained further and further and further until ultimately it will destroy that cell. So we do what's called a balanced charge where the lithium polymer charger will actually read the proper voltage and current for each cell that it's charging and charge each one individually to its proper amount. Uh, in this case, we have to use the the uh, charging board here, the uh, balanced adapter port. You can see that this adapter port has several, one for a two cell battery, three cell, four cell, five cell, and six cell. In this case, we're going to be using this one for the three cell battery. So once again, this is pretty simple. You take this uh, adapter uh, socket board here. You're going to take the balancing lead of your battery here. You're going to plug it into there. It should go into place smoothly and easily. All right, once that's in place, I'm going to take the JST connector adapter from the charger here. Take the JST connector uh, from the battery and just plug that in. Make sure you get the notch correct. There we go. So this is our setup. GST connector connected. Balancing port connected. And we're ready to put in our settings and start charging. So, since this is an 800 milliamp battery, I'm going to hit the start enter key once. The current will begin flashing. I'm going to set that to 800 in this case. This is a three cell battery so I'm going to hit start enter again. The voltage will start flashing. I'm going to bring this up to 11.1. .1. Hit start enter again. It accepts the settings. To start charging I'm going to hold the start enter button for approximately two seconds. It will beep and confirm that the battery is indeed three cells. The charger will do a quick check on it checking and indeed it is it's displaying three cell battery that's what I entered that's what it's detected three cells it's asking me confirm to start charging or cancel to stop I'm going to hit the start enter button to confirm the charging process and there it goes we are at 800 milliamps currently it's at 11.51 volts those are time and how much current has been pumped into the battery. So that's pretty much it for charging multi-cell batteries. Obviously if you had a four cell, five cell, or a six cell, or down to a two cell, you would just use the different uh, charging ports on the uh, balance adaption 
adapter board rather and you would set your voltage and current appropriate for your particular battery. Uh, once again that's pretty much it for charging multi-cell light bulbs. Thank you once again for tuning in to Heli Skunk. As always, happy flying and take care.